hello everyone welcome back in this video we are going to go through all the steps which we mentioned in the previous video that is the chain code life cycle we have mentioned 10 different steps like packaging the chain code installing the chain code querying the chain code approving for the specific organizations checking readiness committing invoking all the steps we are going to cover in this video is very very important so make sure that you understand each and every step let's jump into the vs code yeah starting first yeah uh, this is you can see here deploy chain code .ss file would be there this is very very important file for our network so what exactly we are going to do we are following the steps and we will be following these 10 different steps which we mentioned in the previous video pre setup packaging chain code installing chain code querying installed approve for organization check commit readiness again approve for organization to check commit readiness again commit chain code definition querying committed chain code invocation initialization chain code invocation and the chain code query these are the different steps we are going to follow so make sure that you understand each and every steps these are very very important and core concepts uh, first one we are defining the in uh, environmental variables we are exporting the variables okay uh, as e these are the exactly same as which we mentioned in the create channel here these are the exactly same uh, maybe you can create a function and reuse this yeah set global for orderer peer 0 or 1 peer 1 or 1 peer 0 or 2 peer 1 or 2 okay so up to here we already covered in the create channel dot ss file okay so coming to the next one pre setup inside this for function what exactly we are doing so for our chain code coming here src folder fabcar okay so i will show you i will delete this delete okay so inside this fabcar slash go folder we will having only two function fabcar.go go.mod okay so deploy that chain code what exactly we are doing in the first function we will be downloading all the dependencies using this function okay so i'm executing this now peer setup so right now we are calling only this function inside this script So on the home on the home folder we have this deploy chain code dot ss file is there dot slash deploy chain code so we are going to execute this executing this for uh, script yeah that's that's sufficient so you can see here these two folders will get created here just we are downloading the dependencies uh, for the go Okay, so we have two files that's why deploy chain code .ss. Okay. here you can see we have one now vendor folder and go.sum and go.mod this file will get created in the uh, in the vendor will be have dependencies actual you can see here and in github.com we will have this Fab, fabcar inside fabcar we have different packages so this shim package you can see here github.com hyperledger fabric chain code go shim this is the package this will be available in the vendor folder so make sure that you execute this 
function successfully what exactly we are doing we are going to that path and running this command go more vendor that's it nothing more than that so first function we have executed successfully so we have downloaded all the dependency for the fab car go first chain code so next one is the package chain code we have to package the chain code so let me check once if it is already there fab car tar no it's not there okay perfect uh, here again we will be exporting these uh, variables channel name chain code runtime language version chain code src path so make sure that you have you provided the exactly path where your fab car is there chain code name is the fab car okay package chain code so package chain code what exactly we are doing if it is already there we are removing that setting global for the ps0 organization one it is not necessary actually peer lifecycle chain code package we are providing the chain code name i mean we are creating this package fabcar dot tar dot gz and path we are providing language label so we will execute this function now yeah so uncommented this and uncommented this here again we will execute the same script and the package encode function will get triggered think we need it i think so yeah actually some of the variables are required so here you can see that package.tar.gz is created so we have successfully packaged the chain code okay so we'll be using this only so second step also we have executed successfully third step we'll be installing this chain code this package on every peer but before that our network is not up and running so make sure that docker processes our network is not up and running so we'll up our network uh, so our docker compose file is available inside the artifacts docker compose up in detach mode so we'll we are doing all the containers up for our network once all the containers are up and running so we will be able to install the chain code because for the first two steps we haven't done any interaction with the network let me check docker processes now we have all the containers up and running just clear go to previous on the home folder and again uh, next next step is the installing the chain code on each pair so it takes little time deploy chain code dot sh so now we are installing the chain code on every pair you can see here in this function set global for pair 0 or 1 set global for peer 1 org 1 peer 0 org 2 peer 1 org 2 and the command is peer lifecycle install peer lifecycle chain code install that package we just we created uh, it's here fabcar tar dot gz yeah so uh, i'm running install chain code function now we have just triggered the install chain code function in that deploy chain code dot script uh, it's installing chain code on each and every peer so we have total 4 peer in our network organization 1 2 peer organization 2 2 peer so for the first we have installed successfully chain code is installed on peer 0 or 1 at first is successfully installed later on we can get installed a chain code as well it 
could take little more time because installation sometime it take and depending on our uh, PC as well performance of your PC as well the installation time is dependent on your performance of your PC in in your case it could be a little faster compared to mine but anyway you can see here installs are remotely install remotely install remotely for three pairs now right now one pair is remaining now we have successfully installed the chain code on all the pairs